noticed for the very first time. This video today is going to be making a top 10 list of all the studly characters from the Tinkerbell movies. Little story. I've recently been re-watching the Tinkerbell movies with my girlfriend. I always loved them as a kid, not ashamed to admit that. And I never noticed how studly certain characters were. And today, all we will be doing is going through my top 10 studliest favorites, from least studly to very studly. Let's just get started. So, I do want to go ahead and mention that um, the first couple of characters on my list are not necessarily the most studly characters ever, but more just characters that needed to fill the spots in order for this to be a top 10 rather than a top six. All right, I guess let's just get to the first one. At number 10, we have Terrence. Yep, yeah, just, just Terrence. Not the studliest guy ever, but, um, you know, just needed somebody to fill the slot, I guess. Moving on, our next one for number nine is we have Sled. Um, according to an anonymous source, he is what is considered to be attractive, although I don't necessarily see it, but Rosetta seems pretty into him, so I don't know. Alright, number eight. We have Dewey. Um, I'm not really sure what I think about this. Yep. In retrospect, um probably would have put him at number 10, now that I think about it. Number 8 might have been, might have been too nice for Dewey. Okay, let's, I guess we'll just move on. Um, at number 7, we have Peter Pan. And before you say anything, yes, that, that actually is a 7. Uh, I know it doesn't look like one. You may think, how is it a 7? Well, for an answer, I don't know. It doesn't look like a 7 to me either. Well, you may be asking yourself, why'd you choose Peter Pan? He's not in any of the Tinkerbell movies. If you've seen them, you'd know that. Um, to answer your question, I needed to fill a number seven spot, but I couldn't really think of anyone. So I figured he's part of that universe, so why not? And so for our next one, we have Mr. Smee. And I did use this picture from the Peter Pan movie, but, um, that is because I figured he just looks far more studlier in that movie than he does in the fifth Tinkerbell movie because, yes, unlike the last one, he is actually in one of the Tinkerbell movies in The Pirate Fairy, which is the fifth one. He is actually seen at the very end of the movie rescuing Captain Hook from the ocean. So, yes, he does count as a character from the Tinkerbell movies because he is there. To me, I do feel like needed to be on the list because he's just... He really is a stud. I do, I really do see the studliness in that guy. I mean, you can't really deny it. He's got, he's got the hat, he's got, just, he's got, dude, he's just got the hotness, he's got everything. That man is a stud. Alright, moving on. This is where we get to the real studly characters. Next on our list, at number five, we have Fairy Gary. I mean, just come on. That's a stud right there. Look at that smile! That is a studly, studly smile. That is one of the most studly smiles I have ever seen. And I wish I had the capability to grow a mustache of that studliness. I, I, I wish I could have that mustache. It's, it's beautiful. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just, it's just amazing. Well, I guess all we can do is go to our next one. At number four, somebody might have seen this coming, we have Clank. Clank is another one of my favorite characters. I've always known Clank to be just the slightly dim-witted, but just oh-so-studly kind of guy. You know what? He's definitely worth putting in top five, because Clank is just, well, he's a stud. He's just super, super studly. For our number three, we have Bobble. Now this man, I think this man is particularly studly, because just of the way he, he knows it. He knows that he's a stud. I mean, look at the smug face he has. Look how smug that is. You know what? That's a face that says, I am studly, and I know it. That is a studly, studly man right there. And he knows it. Look at his face. 
his smug little face. He knows that he's a stud, and he is. He's a super, super studly guy. But not quite as studly as our number two. This one was originally going to be my number one. Soon you will find out why I bumped him down to number two, as studly as he is. For number two, we have Scribble. Scribble has always been one of my favorite characters, and you know what? I might even say my most favorite. Scribble not only has a hilarious voice, but just an absolutely glowing personality. He's just, he's absolutely radiating with studliness. I don't know how else to describe how unfathomable the amount of studliness this guy has. Just everything about him. He's hilarious. He's great. He's a smart guy. He has glasses. That's a stud right there. He's very, very studly. He's a stud. Change my mind. You can't. He's a stud. <sighs> but not nearly as studly as my number one pick. I'm not sure if this counts, because technically I already have used this character, but something more specific about this version. For our number one, we have... Bobble. With a hat. I've already made it very clear that Bobble is a very, very, very studly character. But the amount of studliness that Bobble has already can't even compare to the amount of studliness that this man has with just the simple addition of a hat. Just, just his hat is what makes him just that much more studly. Somehow, I, I don't know how, but just the hat, just the beautiful, amazing winter hat, just it makes him just so, so much more studly. I don't understand how, but it does. Because this is one of the studliest things I have ever seen in my entire life. This is a very, very bold statement, but this man with a hat is almost as studly as Danny DeVito himself. And again, I know that's a very, very bold claim. But just looking at this, I can't help but feel, like, just the radiating studliness that this man is putting off. And it's all because he has a hat on. Now, he does have his own studliness by himself, but man, come on. Look at that hat. You just... The hat's awesome. It's just a great hat. I love that hat. It's such a good hat. It just makes him just that much more studly. Man's a stud. And I guess that's it. That's gonna be it for today. So I hope you enjoyed my first ever top 10 list. I feel like this was a very good choice of lists to make. And you may have some other choices for top 10s. Um, there might be a little controversy in my choices. Again, I know that the first couple were just to kind of fill in the slots. I wanted this to be a top 10, um, so I thought I'd just see how I could find. But besides those first four or so, I believe that my choices were not bad. And I guess that's all we have time for today, and I will see you in the next top 10.